How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we are taking on the Defenders of Justice Super Battle Road. And I gotta tell you guys, this run is just so laughably bad. I could not help but upload it. Man, I really want to give SCR Jaren the benefit of the doubt. So we're we're gonna run him double uh lead for this sbr after all i mean this is what it's they well jeez man dude is taking 100k in super battle road i mean i know he's not a slot one unit but man now there is a thing he does have the possibility of getting uh, he has that hit effect right where he can stun the whole enemy rotation Double digits post super, okay, that's not too bad. But, I, I mean, it just, this is what he should be designed for, but, I mean, the rest of the team, specifically Defenders of Justice in Universe 11, uh, it just, I mean, they're nowhere near where they need to be to even work around him. Oh, wow, 200k there. Okay, so it's turn two, and look at us. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to use a Princess Snake here. Um, let's see. Hmm. I guess we put Tech Cheerin to the next rotation and we keep the Topo on. Yeah, I feel like that's what we should do. Yeah, let's do that. I grab that and then I guess we'll take these two with the Tech Cheerin. Yeah, so I mean, we do have some units that can help out here. Like 17 will be good as long as we're below the 77%, right? Um, which isn't too hard to do here in Super Battle Road. But, I mean, I'm not intending to do a no item here. I just kind of want to show Jiren, the SDR Jiren off on this. I mean, you could easily no item this with, like, the Heroes team or, heck, I probably a combo of Gohan and Videl, uh, Tech Ultimate Gohan and SDR Videl. Could probably clear this no items pretty easy. But, I mean, we had to see. <laughs> Alright, so let's see here. All right, so here, you, now you can see what I'm talking about. So we did actually manage to stun Tamarine here. Um, so let's grab that. Let's grab that. And then we're just going to keep Dispo off. He is too much of a liability here. There we go. All right, so a little bit better this turn. I mean, I, I suppose I could just keep restarting this event and do the same thing I did with U6 ESBR and just keep restarting until every turn <laughs> hit shows up, we get the... Uh, uh, what do you call it? The stun, but I mean that wouldn't be any fun. So, um, you know, we'll we'll just keep pressing forward here. Items or no. All right, so this one's gonna be a little tricky because there's a couple more enemies, but they have pretty low health, I think. Oh, okay, we actually do proc the stun though, so we're actually good this turn. All right, so the question is, who do we focus down, though? That is the question. Hmm. I mean, we don't have to worry about any attacks, right? Yeah, let's just go type advantage. So let's take down Yamu and Spobovich with Jiren. Um, I suppose... Well, okay, we get three links here. Oh, it's still three links. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. All right, let's just... Lee, let's, I feel like 17 might come more in handy to leave on. So let's leave him on. We'll target Yakon. And then I I guess we'll target the Tech Pui All right, perfect. So, all right, we are actually solid this turn. So that, again, this is what I'm talking about. Like, we could just keep resetting until this happens every time he shows up. Um, that could be one way to do it. But, I mean, I also kind of want to see how he took damage here, which is, you know, kind of why you guys saw what you saw in the last rotate, uh, in the last, uh, phase. There we go, so we actually managed to get down Bobbity and Yamamu and Spovich. I don't know that my 17 can actually take down Yak Yakon here. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, at least we got some attack lowering in. Ooh, way too many attacks there. Okay, yeah, I mean, as we already saw, he can't take any damage pre-super. There's, like, no slot 1 units. I at least when running his setup here. So let's just take that. We'll, fo we'll focus down Yakon, get him done. 
Um, we'll have Tech and focus down Pui Pui. We're just going to go ahead and use a Ghost Usher. Avoid the damage here. And then we'll grab that with Cash Roll. There we go. Alright, not bad. Ooh, that did like no damage. But, I mean, I guess we are type disadvantage. There we go. A little bit better with the crit there. Alrighty. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, we have full health. As long as he doesn't super, we're okay, right? Let's grab that with Dispo. Nope. 200k from a normal. Okay. And again, this is a 2023-2024 easy A on global. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, man. Um. Well, at least there's only one enemy in this next fight, right? So if we stun one, we stun all. If we can even get it. Let's go ahead. It's Herutagarn, that's right. I totally forgot about that. Okay. Let's see here. Did we get the stun? No, we did not get the stun. Oh wow, there are a crap ton of attacks there. Yeah, okay. Um, Let's use the Android 8 so we get a little bit of a heal up. Some extra defense here. There we go. I guess we'll take that with Topo. Jeez. Okay. 100k still. Again, I understand that he's not a slot one unit, but this is SB. This isn't even ESBR. This is regular Super Battle Road. Alright. At least we're double digits post Super. There we go. Heck, Jiren, I'm a little worried about here because he's type disadvantaged. Oh, but we get the stun. All right, we don't got to worry. Man, I hope this guy easy A's soon. The blue boy's easy A. That means his has got to be on the way soon, right? There we go. We get a little bit of attack and defense lower there. And he is stunned, so we don't have to worry about anything. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see here. Can we set up... And, uh, we'll, we'll just take that. Okay, cool. So we'll get the Dokkan attack with Jiren here. Time to get serious. Alright, let's do this. Let's go. One, two... Oh, three, four. Ow. Okay. Is that going to do enough to kill him? It should, right? Imagine it doesn't, though. Uh, oh my goodness, serious? You couldn't even kill him? Alrighty, there we go. Well, 17 goes ahead and cleans up the mess there. So, there you have it. My goodness. There is SDR Jiren and the Defenders of Justice Super Battle Road. Like I said, I mean, we could have easily no item to this with the Heroes team, but you guys have probably already seen that through other channels like Mass Mingan. Um, we could have done it through with uh, Gohan and Videl. Actually, Videl's team with a combination of 17 and Gamma 1 could easily tank just about everything here and get you through the fight pretty easily with Gohan and Videl dealing the big damage. D Videl, mostly. Um, but I really wanted to test out Jiren and his team here, even though this is a 170 lead. I mean, it's so bad we couldn't even get a fully easy aid friend. Look at that. Our friend is only 135. Like, that's how bad it is. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. He's just not that good. He had one shot at being good, um, and they 
he just wasn't even good for Super Battle Road. I mean, I guess on a fully decked out team, he's okay, but the problem is, outside of 17, most of this team isn't that good at the moment, unfortunately, is how it is. Universe 11 just needs a whole lot more work. So, guys, that's it for the video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. And in the comments down below, let me know, what team did you use to clear Defenders of Justice Super Battle Road? Like I said, there's tons of good teams out there you could have used. We just decided to torture ourselves today and see how SDR Jiren does in this fight. So, that's it for the video, guys. If nothing else, thanks for watching, and aloha.